Sketch the graph of the following functions by hand. Explain what the values of a and b tell you about this graph. Here we're given f of x is equal to negative 7 times 3 to the x. Again, I'll create a table of values. And like before, I'll start with 0. So negative 7 times 3 to the 0 would be negative 7 times 1, which is negative 7. If x is 1, negative 7 times 3 to the first. Negative 7 times 3 is negative 21. Negative 7 times 3 to the second. Negative 7 times 9 is negative 63. Continuing this pattern, if x was 3, we would have negative 189. And if x was 4, we would have negative 567. If x was negative 1, we would have negative 7 times 3 to the negative first, which is negative 7 times 1 third, which is negative 7 thirds. And if x was negative 2, we would have negative 7 times 3 to the negative second, which is negative 7 times 1 ninth, negative 7 ninths. Notice how that's fairly close to 0. All right, so plotting some points, negative 2, negative 7 ninths, negative 1, negative 7 thirds, Actually, those should be closer to the axis. 0, negative 7. 1, negative 21. 2, negative 63. 3, negative 189. 4, negative 567. And so there are some points on the graph drawing a smooth curve through these points. Notice how it's sort of flat over on the left and then begins to rapidly decrease. Okay, so again, notice how it is flat on one side, and there's a rapid change on the other side. In this case, it's a decrease. All right, so what do the a and the b tell us in this case? Right, if we have our general form, f of x is equal to a times b to the x. Notice a is negative and b is greater than 1. If a is less than 0, and b is greater than 1, then the graph is below the x-axis and decreasing. negative 100 times 1 fourth to the x. Okay, you should be kind of getting used to this now. A table of values. x versus f of x. 0. 1 fourth to the 0 is 1. So negative 100 times 1 is negative 100. If x is 1, we would have negative 100 times 1 fourth to the fir first power. So that's negative 100 times 1 fourth is negative 25. If x is 2, we would have negative 100 times 1 fourth to the second power. Negative 100 times 1 sixteenth is negative 12.5. 3, negative 100 times 1 fourth to the third power. I'll use a calculator for this one. Negative 100 times 1 fourth to the third power is negative 1.5625. All right, what if we had negative 1 as the input? I'd have negative 100 times 1 fourth to the negative first power. That's negative 100 times 4, 
which is 400. And if we had you know, negative 2, it would actually give us 16, negative 1600, I should say. So plotting the points that we can, negative 1, negative 400, 0, negative 100, 1, 25, 2, negative 12.5, Yeah, that negative 12.5 is incorrect. That should be a negative 6.25. So 2, negative 6.25 would be roughly here. 3, negative 1.5625, very close to the axis. All right. Drawing a curve through these points, try to draw a smooth curve here. Notice we have a rapid increase, and then it flattens out. All right, so we have a rapid change, in this case an increase, and then it's flat on the one on the other side. All right, and what do the A and B tell us again? If we compare to the general form, A times B to the x. If A is negative and B is between 0 and 1, the graph is below the x-axis and increases.